praise the Lord. This time we want to look at 10 minutes with God and we are going to look at more lessons from the prayer of Jabez. More lessons on the prayer of Jabez or we can also call it deeper lessons from the prayer of Jabez. Let us pray. Almighty Father, maker of heaven and earth, our King and our Maker, we come before you at this time in this period of 10 minutes with God. Breathe upon us and breathe upon the world the breath of life in Jesus' name. I pray all the hearers, all the listeners and myself speaking, we all shall be blessed together in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. I praise God for you because you have tuned in to this YouTube channel today. Today we are looking at the life of Jabex. I have done two or three videos in the time past on this channel, 10 Minutes with God, talking about the prayer of Jabez and many other things. And every time the Lord is taking me back to this prayer, every time I'm saying I've taken, I've done enough, God is saying they see something I want to see, I want to tell the people. Today we want to look at deeper lessons we can learn from the prayer of Jabez. This Jabez, we are told, his mother called him Suru because she said she bore him in sorrow. Perhaps circumstances relating to his death was sorrowful, and she gave birth to him and named him sorrow. But eventually the man became more blessed. He changed his own personal destiny to prayer. This shows us that nobody is destined for any evil, and nobody is destined for any good. Yes, the word said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Jabez, destined for compassion, destined for greatness, destined for honor, but he didn't just land at his lap like that. He prayed to God, and God released it unto him. Anyone caused by any kind of individual can seek the face of God and break the yoke and break the cause and remove the effect of the cause, just the same way Jabez prayed to God and he changed his own life. The story of Jabez is in the book of 1 Chronicles 4, verse 9 and in verse 10. The book of 1 Chronicles 4, verse 9 and verse 10, we are told there that Jabez called upon the God of Israel and he prayed a five-sentence prayer. And the God of Israel transformed his life. The beginning in verse 9 said, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. He was more honorable. Why did he become more honorable? Why did somebody that was born in Solo, that lived a sorrowful life, that his mother did not even trust that he was going to amount to anything in life, how did he become more honorable than his brethren? He prayed to the God of Israel. He prayed to the God of Israel. He prayed to the God of his fathers the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, he prayed to them. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and the God of Israel, he cried to them. And his life changed, turned around. One lesson we see there is that my brother, my friend, cried to God. He prayed. He said, oh, bless me indeed. Maybe he was weeping. Maybe he was crying. Maybe it was, it was maybe it was a prayer meeting sort of, and others were, were joking and laughing. And he just closed his eyes and he went to God and he said, "Bless me indeed." And he said, "Make me more honorable than them. They look, they look, they look at me with pity today, Lord, for eternity, forever and ever. Make me more honorable than them." That is what we see here. Jabez has long been gone. More than three thousand years ago, he has died. But today we are talking about him. Not just talking about him. He prayed and said, God enlarge my coast. Something that happened in Israel. Here we are, I am in another in another continent outside of Israel. In I here we are in, in a different places, different country from Israel. That we are Jabez prayed. And we are talking about him. He said, Enlarge my coast, enlarge my territory. Is has that not been fulfilled? Everywhere people handle the Bible, all over the world, there's no state, there's no, there's no country where people don't handle the Bible or where they don't pray or where they don't read this story. God enlarged his coast. His coast was enlarged to a worldwide coast. 
The lesson we learn from here is that when you are praying to God, know what you are praying. Be serious with what you are praying because God is going to magnify your prayers. God is going to magnify your prayers. God is going to magnify the prayer you pray. I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm going to tell you much more than this. God will magnify your prayer. I've seen people, cases in the Bible, women that had no child. They go to God in prayer like Anna. You say, God, give me a child. God, give me a child. Then God answered the prayer. He said, I will give him to you. Samuel became a, a different kind of prophet. God called him at early stage and he served God throughout his life. And we have many other people who got miracles through prayer and they kept the miracles. God, God intervened in their life. So what I'm saying is know what you are praying for. Either I'm talking to you today, I'm a product of prayer. The prayer of my mother. I'm a product of prayer. And I came as an answer to prayer. And I observed my life is different from the life of other people around me. My life is different. The way I do, the way I, it is the level I operate is different from the level of other people. Other may be operating at a lower level. I am operating at a higher level. They were spread. He said, Oh, enlarge my coast. He said, Bless me indeed. He said, People are getting blessed, but please, my own blessing, let it be indeed. Look at it. Bruce Wilkinson have written the prayer of Jabez for teens, prayer of Jabez for children. Prayer of Jabez for there's there's a lot of things about Jabez. There are songs. If you go on YouTube, go on on the internet, people have sung different songs about the prayer of Jabez. And this is a man that just two verses was where he was mentioned in the Bible. His prayer transformed his life, and not just his life. His prayer is still impacting people today. A man who dared to ask God for more, that is Jabez, he dared to ask God for more. He didn't ask God for small things. He said, bless me indeed. Bruce Wilkinson said Jabez was a gimpa. A gimpa is somebody that asked for more than is normally given to other people. Pray first. That is what we learned from the prayer of Jabez. Pray first. Pray first before any other thing. The prayer of Jabez in 1 Corinthians 4, verse 9 and 10, it came in a place where people were not praying. People were not praying. People were just talking, discussing. But this man prayed. The place where the, Jabez, where the prayer of Jabez was mentioned is a, book, is a book where just names are being mentioned. I pray for you. Even where they are just calling attendance, marking attendance, you will pray in that place in Jesus' name. I don't know what God is, what means by that. I just feel God wants me to say that. I believe there's somebody there that he is going to understand what I'm saying in Jesus. Maybe attendance in church. Some people go to church to mark attendance. But Jabez did not go to church to mark attendance. He went to church to pray. And he prayed to the God of Israel. A man called pain. The story of Jabez in the Bible. How can you call a man pain? Why the prayer of Jabez is so powerful? These are the reasons. His prayer is so powerful. His prayer is so powerful. Till today, we are still talking about it. Everywhere, in fact, there are films acted about the prayer of Jabez. People, people are using this prayer. There's a prayer of Jabez challenge. 30 days, people go praying this prayer daily and they see their lives being changed. He said, he told God, he said, bless me indeed. He told God, he said, enlarge my coast. He told God, he said, let your hand be upon me. And God did exactly what he wanted. Everything you want God to do for you today, God will do it in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes and go to God in prayer and say, Lord, bless me indeed. And say, Lord, enlarge my coast. And say, Lord, let your hand be upon me. And say, Lord, keep me from evil. And say, Lord, don't let evil to grieve me. Pray this five sentence prayer for the next 30 days, all through this month of June. And you and I will testify in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because of the great lessons you are learning from the life of this man called Jabez, a man that asked God for more. I pray the power we need, the grace we need, 
to ask you for extraordinary things and not to take you for granted, not to take your power for granted, but to utilize it to the maximum. Lord, give unto us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Amen.